In this video, we'll use PowerVM Live Partition Mobility to migrate a live Cognos business intelligence stack between two Power System servers without any discernible interruption in service. What you're about to see is a technology preview. As of April 2009, IBM makes no official statement of support of Live Partition Mobility in conjunction with the Cognos BI server. Our demonstration will use a Power 550 server and a logical partition running AIX6 to run the Cognos BI stack. A client system will be running queries throughout the demo. During the course of normal business operations, an IT manager may find it necessary to move the Cognos workload off of the system it's running on. There could be a variety of reasons for this, but the most common revolve around the need to power the system down. For example, to save electrical energy, perform a hardware change or upgrade, or to apply new firmware. Changing workloads across systems may also be a factor. Live Partition Mobility enables you to move a live workload without interruption to another system, like this second 550. The operation will actually move the entire OS image, including any applications running on it, to the other system over the network. This action requires the use of at least one virtual I.O. server on each system. In addition, all I.O. devices owned by the partition being moved must be virtualized through the virtual I.O. server. During the migration, the virtual I.O. servers will transfer all of the partition's configuration data, as well as its live memory state, across the network to the other system. All applications in the partition will continue to execute, and when enough data has been transferred, the systems will automatically switch execution to the target. Once the migration is complete, we're free to power down the source server if we need to. Okay, enough with the pretty pictures. Let's see the demo. On the desktop shown here, I have a few things running. On the left is a browser showing the HMC console, from which we'll actually initiate the migration. On the right, we have two monitors, one for each system. You'll see that the monitors show a VIOS running on each system, as well as an AIX LPAR currently running the Cognos BI server. During the demo, we'll be interacting with this server. We can do this from another tab in the browser, from which we'll be running some sample queries that Cognos makes available. We'll start by jumping back to the HMC interface and selecting the partition we want to migrate. From here, we go to the Mobility menu and initiate a validation. This validation checks to make sure that we have a VIOS on both systems, that all partition I.O. runs through the VIOS and is available on the target system, and that there is enough processing and memory resource on the target system available to receive the partition. Once all this has been validated, we can kick off the migration. The migration takes a couple of minutes, but we'll speed up the video here since you probably have things to do. While the migration is proceeding, we'll continue to interact with Cognos by running through some more sample queries. Notice that the VIOSs on each system are both showing some activity now. The live memory image of the operating system is now being copied over the network between the systems. For this partition, that's about 5 gigs of memory. However, since we're continuing to interact with the partition while the transfer is taking place, memory is continually being modified on the source system. Because of this, the hypervisors need to recopy these modified pages to ensure the coherency of the target system's image. Once we've copied enough memory data, the hypervisors will automatically stop execution on the source system and start execution on the target. You'll see this happen when the green AIX LPAR moves between the two monitors on the right. There it goes. Notice that I'm still able to run queries in the Cognos server without a problem. The live session, network address, and in-flight network traffic all went over to the new system. Once all the memory has been copied, the systems verify that everything is transferred over successfully and the migration ends. This concludes the demonstration. Thanks for your attention.